I'm, we, we are not supporting the curfew uh, because we want our people to, to get out and make activity and have money, but uh, I'll ask President Uru Kenyatta if you're going to withdraw the lockdown and other things sometime in the future, again, we'll achieve a curfew kidogo. Komuda, you to lay wali ambao badu wa jehiva vizuri, you to na security. Because I can do a curfew immediately, you'll see crime coming up. And so maybe the curfew should be re should be massaged. Pole pole tu, pole pole tu, so that by the time we meondolewa, Kenyans have gotten into a sense of crime. It is very clear that crime is not a way of life in this country. Crime is there because people create opportunities to steal, to go to homes, to rape our women, to, to harass our fathers, to do carjackings, to crime. Uh, is caused by people going out to commit crime. And so because they are at home, they have not been able to commit crime. As a result of the curfew during this COVID period, crime rate has dropped drastically in Machakos County. Machakos has never been this safe for many, many years. Nobody can remember how, how, how it was before because you know, we've always had crime. So we, crime is teetering at zero. We have very little in terms of breakings. There was a breaking the other day in the river, uh, in a factory. Home breakings have basically come to zero. Uh, muggings, we've got some petty crime. Murder, uh, as a result of crime, is down of, of theft. And so we feel that uh, the curfew has contributed into bringing crime down. Our people are more relaxed, they live well, they're happy, which shows that uh, most of these criminals were wandering around at night, and nowadays they cannot hand, uh, wander around at night because of, uh, of the curfew. Alafu kumbuke ya kwamba, wizi unautokea sana sana katika mijietu, when there's a rapist in our village, that rapist did not travel from Kisumu to come and rob and rape our women and go back to Kisumu, or did not come from Kakamega, or did not come from Wajia, or from Nyeri, or from Nairobi. Most of those ones, they come from within the village. Now, easy one, Julikana. If we flush them out, our vijana wana opigi wengine ngeta, our naibio wengine simu, our navunja nyuba za watu, we can live well. Milangu yikuwa kwele fukuwa kama Dubai. Tukiwa hapa machakos, tuchungani sisi wenyewe. Kama kuna mtu ametoka nje, amekuja kijiji chako, juulize, huyu ametoka wapi. Pengine huyu ni mkorofi. Pengine huyu ni muizi. Pengine huyo ni gaidi, huyu mtu ametoka wapi na alikuwa wapi? Alikuwa naishi wapi na amerudi kutoka wapi? Alikuwa amepotea miaka kumi, amerudi, ametoka wapi? Alikuwa ameenda anaishi wapi, anaishi kisumu, alikuwa anafanya nini kisumu? Alikuwa anaishi mandera, anafanya nini mandera? Alikuwa anaishi uh, mombasa, alikuwa anafanya nini mombasa? Alikuwa anaishi nyeri, anafanya nini nyeri? So tuchungane sisi wenyewe. Kwa sababu kawaida watu wanatoka wanakuletea shida katika kaunti yetu na katika maeneo yetu. Kwa hivyo tuchungane mtu akija sasa na waomba chiefs, village administrators, wakuu wote wa serikali tuchunge wageni wanaokuja ambao walikuwa wamepotea, tujue walikuwa wameenda wapi, wamerudi, tuchunge tujue wametoka wapi. It is very important for us to know where these people are coming from. We are quite concerned with movement of people who should not be moving within the borders of the lockdown. It has become very clear to us when we got a person in Masi with COVID-19 who lives in Kayole in Nairobi. And that person is not an essential worker. That person ata akaribi kuwa essential worker. Wacha kuwa, hakaribi kuwa essential worker. Na alikuwa Masi. Sasa alipitaje. So action has already been taken, and uh, we'll get you know, a brief kidogo about some of the action that has been taken, because we will not condone how watu wa boda boda, wanaobeba watu, kuakikisha boda, kukiuka sheria, shauri yako sasa. Hizi sheria za, za COVID-19, zinatupotezea pesa kama serikali. Lakini tunangalia ni pesa ama ni uhai. Tunapoteza pesa wakati soko inafungwa, we are not making money. Lakini uhai 
ni afadhali kuliko pesa si ndio kwa hivyo wale ambao wanakiuka sheria katika soko zetu mjua hakuna huruma na sasa tumekubaliana sasa tutafanya operation katika kaunti yetu yote we'll do mass operation kaunti yetu yote soko zetu zote ata beef up inspectorate wetu pataenda pia na askari wako na bunduki na pingu na kila kitu bila huruma yote tukifunga huko itakuwa sawa kwa hivyo we'll be going to all our towns in Machakos county Dereva wa boda boda mkipatikana hujavaa mask au javaa kofia dereva wa maruti dereva wa matatu sokoni mkipatikana mko na shida machakos will not be the reason machakos haitakuwa ndio sababu ya uhuru kinyata kukataa kufungua Kenya ati kwa sababu machakos visa zimeanza kupanda we already have 20 what, 26 people na leo najua taongezeka tayari from machakos wampata ugonjwa kwa sababu yetu kuwa relax relax namna hii Mwataka tungoje ifike 500 tuanze kuchimbia watu chini ndio tukue serious hapana Kenyans are going to a sense of crime it is the... when we got a person in Masi with covid-19 who lived. so action has already been taken and uh, we'll get you know a brief kidogo about some of the actions that have been taken because we need kwa hivyo tutungane mtu akija sasa na waomba chiefs village administrators tutungane sisi watu kwa kikamba